search is on for two guys who rammed this building, leaving behind a huge mess. But in a surprise twist, despite it being an old auto shop, turns out these guys actually made off with thousands of dollars worth of marijuana. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park has the story now from Detroit's West Side. Detroit police thought they were just responding to a breaking and entering call at this nondescript vacant auto repair shop. Instead, they found a lucrative business the suspects were likely targeting. The suspected thieves were already gone by the time officers arrived at Plymouth and Ashton just after 5 Thursday morning. They left only the large hole their car made when they rammed into the building, which police discovered houses a marijuana grow operation. We were just operating as if it's an illegal grow house. Inside, officers found about 80 marijuana plants, each about six feet tall, growing in black planters under lamps. About a dozen of those planters were found empty, the pot apparently uprooted and stolen by suspects. There appears to be that's the only thing that's in there. There's a lot of plants, so my assumption is that's what they were after. Police questioned two brothers who said they were leasing the building. One of them is a licensed medical marijuana caregiver and patient. But police say they found several violations in his operation. They confiscated about 50 plants before leaving the scene. The caregiver told Action News off camera, in addition to the dozen plants stolen, that's a huge hit to his business and his patients. The two men who broke in are still on the loose. As for the suspects who rammed their vehicle into this building, police have no description yet, but they will be reviewing cameras inside and outside the building. On Detroit's West Side, Jane Park, 7 Action News.